Good afternoon, audience members and judges. My name is Kelvin, and I'm a third year medical student. I will be presenting my research on the Association of Medical Assistance in Dying, or MAID, with Socioeconomic Status, or SES. MAID is reserved for patients with an irremediable disease that causes intolerable suffering. Each case hinges on the concept of compassionate care for a suffering patient. From an ethical perspective, clinicians should show equal compassion towards poor and rich patients. People are prone to pitfalls of reasoning, though. Poor patients may feel more reluctant to express their dissatisfaction, and clinicians may underestimate the distress due to faulty intuitions that a life of hardships helps patients grow a thicker skin. In reality, the chronic stress of poverty does not buffer against added challenges from ill health. We hypothesize these faulty intuitions will contribute to fewer made cases in patients with lower SES. We first conducted a population-based case control study of adults receiving palliative care who died between 2016 and 2019 in Ontario. We further validate the results using a parametric approach and the sensitivity analysis using a second indicator of SCS. We additionally conducted a randomized confirmation survey where clinicians were randomized to estimate the suffering experienced by a poor or rich patient in the same written scenario. A total of 50,096 palliative care patients were included in the first study, of whom 920 received MAID and 49,176 did not receive MAID. MAID was significantly less frequent for patients with low SES at 1.5% than for patients with high SES at 2.4%. Stratified analysis showed intermediate findings for patients with intermediate socioeconomic quintiles, as seen in the top right figure. This equaled a 39% decreased odds of receiving MAID associated with low SES. This result extended to diverse subgroups, as seen in the bottom left figure. The relative decrease also persisted after adjusting for numerous factors, such as age, sex, home location, malignancy diagnosis, healthcare utilization, and overall frailty, as seen in the middle right table. The pair match approach based on physician identifier and sensitivity analysis yielded similar results. The randomized survey of 494 healthcare professionals showed mean judgments of suffering were significantly higher when assessing a rich patient rather than a poor patient, as seen in the bottom right figure. In conclusion, MAID is significantly less frequent for patients with low SES. This result may reflect fallible intuition where clinicians perceive patients of lower income as less distressed due to an implicit bias that repeated hardships leads to less existential distress. Additional explanations include faulty communication and confounding personal preferences. Limitations to our research include a lack of data on religion, race, and patients under 65. The randomized survey further only offers a superficial impression of reality. The data may inform patient engagement in less extreme clinical decisions where poor patients feel disempowered or clinicians are disinclined to push.